In our Grow at Home Spring Kit, we have got instructions of what to do. We've got five packs of seeds to be sown now. We've got some lovely little biodegradable pots, which you can sow directly into. Some seed compost, which you can see is, that's seed compost. And we've got some perlite, which you can cover the seeds with. So this is really good. And it acts like a duvet. And we've got some lovely, what I call lollipop sticks, which are biodegradable, which you can label. And they will make sure that you know what you've sown in what pot. So today I'm just going to sow one to show you what to do. So I've got some seed compost in here. It's the mix we use actually at the nursery. I'm going to fill my pot and it's got vermiculite in it and soil and bark and the vermiculite holds water which is really good and as you all know what seeds need are light, air, warmth and water. So there we go, put that over there. So there's my pot. Most important, you water it in first. And water it well. By watering it in first, when you sow the seeds, they'll stick to the surface. And what's even better is that they won't float. And if they float, quite often the seeds will go together and that makes it very difficult. Now, I'm going to sow some red oryx because this is the perfect time now to do that. I'm going to undo the bottom. And in here, you've got an inner packet. Now, because my hands are slightly damp, because I've been watering, I'm going to make sure that I don't sow the, I don't get the seeds wet as I sow. So I'm going to put them in a nice dry container, make sure nothing's in there at all. Put the seeds like that in there. So that's all dry, that's nice and dry. And I've got a, a very useful thing. This is a plant label and we folded it in half. So that makes it the most wonderful dibber for sowing seeds. As these seeds are a good size, for a pot like this, basically you would sow three seeds. So if I get a seed onto my little dibber like this, which it says, and you just pop that one there Get another one. And people think I'm very pedantic not using my hands to sow seed. But the trouble is, if your hands are wet and then you put the seeds back in the packet, you can actually start germination and you can kill the seed and make it go mouldy. And I know how long it takes to clean seeds, so I'm not going to do that. And that's the third one. In fact, you've got another one, an extra bonus. Now, normally, I wouldn't cover these seeds, but... In this instance, I want to cover with perlite so that you know what it looks like. So that's all done. I'm going to put this back into here and then I'm going to sew it, put it back with the others so it keeps nice and dry. Put it back in the box. And here's the perlite. And I'm going to put a smidge of perlite on the, on the top here. So that acts, as I say, like a duvet and keeps the seed dry on top, but wet where it's on, on the compost. Just spread a small amount on top. You don't need much, just like that. And uh, it also reflects light and uh, keeps a little bit of weight on, on the seed. Finally, you label it. So you write the name of the seed you've sown. And I'm going to use the English because it takes up less space. So I've put red auric. And I quite often we'll put the date on the back to make sure how quickly these seeds should germinate. And you pop that in there. Now this here, I sowed these seedlings 
uh, about nine days ago. Admittedly, they're here in the greenhouse with me. Um, minimum heat and they're a little dry, so I'm going to give them a drink because they've done very well to germinate so well. And as you can see, I landed up having the seeds a bit close together. But they, I'll grow them on now and then they'll be ready for planting up into whatever container you want or planting out in the garden. Happy growing.